Hello guys and welcome to my video. So today you'll see me paint Josh Franceschi from Yumi at 6 and talk about changing up the process. So I changed the process drastically. I didn't start with the background. I started with the face first. I did this because I really wanted to nail the face. I've been having trouble with faces lately and I just needed a win this time. Because lately, I've been losing when it comes to portraits. Anyway. I start by wetting the entire face with water, then I lay in a yellow flesh color for the forehead. I then lay a rosy flesh color for the cheeks, then an almost neutral flesh color for the mouth area. Now, the logic of this is that the forehead has less blood to it, compared to the cheeks which has more blood. When it comes to the mouth area, I use a neutral flesh color because it's more likely to be in shadow. Apparently, this is an oil painting technique by Ben Lustenhauer where he pa his portraits seem more alive. So I incorporated this technique in watercolor. After that, I painted the subtle nuances of the shadows since it was a front lit portrait and almost butterfly nose lighting. So the prominent shadows were the ones on the eyes, under the nose, and under the lip. After painting the soft shadows, I painted the shadows that had harsher edges. These were the prominent shadows. After shading the nose, I started with the mouth. It was a simple mouth which only needed shading on the upper lip. Then I added the facial hair. After that, I started working on the eyes. I started by adding the eyebrows and then, then the eye. Once I was happy with the face, I, lit, I did the ears next. After that, the neck, then the clothes, and the background, and lastly, the hair. Then the portrait was finished. So let's talk about changing the process. As I said before, I wasn't happy with the portraits I was producing, so I changed my process. Before this, I failed the portrait by winging the colors and not giving much attention to color harmony. I was also winging the portraits, and that's why I failed. I learned from that mistake and planned my colors beforehand. So the colors I used for this painting was Naples Yellow, Yellow Orange, Cadmium Red, Quinacridone Magenta, Ultramarine Blue, Thalo Blue, Imidazolone Brown, Dioxazine Purple, and Viridia. This is a more well-rounded palette and I guess it's one of the reasons why the painting worked. Another reason why I think the painting went well was because I planned the drawing and got a good reference photo. Compared to the previous painting I did, there was less nuances to it and it came out flat. I think that the painting went well because I changed the way I approached the portrait. I started the painting by painting the forehead a yellow flesh color, the cheeks a rosy flesh color, and the mouth a neutral flesh color. It gave the painting a more alive look compared to the painting before that. Finally, I took the painting more seriously. Now, I always do that, it's just that I put more effort into it. So here's what I learned. Before changing the process, try to learn something new that may add to your new process. For me, this was learning about Ben Lustenhauer's technique about the blood flow of the face and how to apply that to the portrait. Another thing I learned is that extra effort really goes a long way. So what I mean by that is that sometimes you just need to give a little more and it will really show in the work. Lastly, and I guess it goes along with the lesson beforehand, is that careful planning will give good results. I did this by doing two drawings before jumping into the portrait. Now, it's not perfect, but hey, I'm happy with it. Well, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Hope you learned something new also. Bye!